We are starting with transformation, so here's our beginning. There are four kinds of transformations. Can you name them? We will deal with the first three, and then we'll get to the fourth one, because it's slightly different. They'll look like that when we have them out in the world. We've got a map, and we're sliding from one place to another. We're flipping things, rotating things, turning things. So first, let's start with translation. It's a slide. And we're going to slide the triangle. Where and how far is told to us by that segment-looking thing, BE. But it's not a segment because it has an arrowhead on one end. We call that a vector, V-E-C-T-O-R. It tells us which direction and how far. So when we do it, our new triangle is over there. Notice how it's labeled. We put tick marks next to the letters. And we call those prime. So B slides over to B prime. If we were to put the vector right on top of each, notice that the B and the B prime and the D and the E are overlapping because we're supposed to move B exactly that far. In numbers, if DE is 3.16 long, notice the distance between the twin. B to B prime is 3.16. A to A prime is 3.16. And C to C prime is 3.16. Everything moved the same distance. We're told that distance by the vector. We're also told the direction. It all slides that direction. Reflection's our next one. Reflection, we need a mirror. Put in any orientation. We're going to go with a little bit of skew. So that's what happens when we reflect. That's what it's going to look like. Sometimes we think of those as like the eyes on the pumpkin that we're carving out. Now notice that B to the mirror is 1.3. And B prime to the mirror, the mirror is line D. B prime to the mirror is also 1.3. So let's say A is 5 away from the mirror, so A prime will be 5 away from the mirror. Equal distances in mirror images. Now if we draw lines connecting the twins, the line from B to B prime, A to A prime, C to C prime, notice how the line hits the mirror. The lines will hit the mirror at 90 degrees. That's important for drawing these. It's got to be perpendicular to the mirror. doesn't matter which way we have the mirror, which way we turn the orientation. The lines between the twins always hit the mirror at 90 degrees. Now we're going to rotate. Now we need a pivot point. The pivot point could be one of the corners. The pivot point could be a point outside. If it is one of the corners, for example, we're pivoting on A, we're just turning this thing around A, kind of like uh, putting your foot down and spinning on one foot, or the hands of a clock and we turned it kind of to the left, that's called counterclockwise. Or we could pivot around a point outside, D, and we turn this thing, we, also, we turn this one counterclockwise also, around D. How far? Well, we'll show you in a minute. But notice how C and C prime are on a circle. It's like just taking it and, and going on this arc. Also, B to B prime is on a different circle. It, so we're turning on an arc. A to A prime would have the same thing. Now we'll measure. Here's how far I turned it. I turned it 80 degrees. So we measure the angle from B to B prime. And that angle is 80 degrees. Now the angle between A to A prime, that's going to be the green line here, also happens to be 80 degrees. That's how far I turned the triangle, 80 degrees, around D. C to C prime would be the same angle, 80 degrees. So there are three different kinds of transformations we're dealing with right now. There's a fourth one coming up. Translation to slide. You have to know the distance you're sliding and the direction. Reflection. You have to know the, where the mirror is. In rotation, you've got to have a pivot point and how far you're going. So now we're going to throw out some vocabulary, some words, and you decide what the instructions. They tell us to translate, reflect, or rotate. I'm going to pop through these quick, but you can always pause.
So, how did you do? Do you think you did understand what those words tell? You will be soon. Now, you're supposed to be able to do these constructions. You're supposed to be able to construct the transformations on paper and using the software. We'll get to teaching you that coming up soon. Now, one thing I want to remind you of, there's that new concept called vector. It looks like an arrow, and that's how we talk about it. And the vector will tell us a magnitude, a distance, and a direction. We can draw the arrow, or we can write it out in a form like this. It's x and y within angle brackets. We'll get to more of that coming up.